All right, welcome. It's your boy Turnbuck65 back up in this, and today we are back on Unmechanical Extended with the Extended Story Part Two. Now I am going to say this is the final part of this. If I knew this was going to be so short, then I would have done something different. So don't mind me there, I was doing something stupid. I have freaking Kendrick Lamar's thing where we gonna be alright. We gonna be alright, we gonna be all right. we gonna be alright. So that's what I was doing there in the beginning. This magnet puzzle for some reason it stumped the frick out of me. Well frankly I just sort of ignored what it was. I just pulled the thing, I said okay cool I'm just gonna do this. I didn't even realize the battery was a battery. I, I was completely oblivious to what was going on. And then I realized, that, okay, that battery's for the magnet, so what's going on? So what you need to do is to put that bar, or have that bar, on that hook. You do need to take the bar out, but you need to have that bar between the hook and between that caution thing. And then have the ball be underneath that. So right, right now you want to drop the ball. <laughs> Get it? Drop the ball? Because I dropped the ball and figured out how to solve this. You see, I'm going to place it underneath it, which you don't need to do. You need to do it under. I mean, under. You need to do over. So yeah, now this is... Before I just kind of fast forward this, I'm going to show you this part. Yep. I was thinking here, okay, cool. I was gonna think just to use the bar to try to just push it out, but yeah, there's no way this robot is strong enough to use that bar to heave it out of there. So yeah, let me go ahead and fast forward through this. place the bar under it's going to magnetize the ball which will push the bar up which forces that to go up with it it looks a little weird because you see some space between the ball and the thing there i think the ball is technically supposed to gravitate with that but i don't know magnets are like ants they are very strong for their size wish i could say the same for my hmm, never mind here we have this, which also confused me for a little bit, though I understood it. So, you got this little magnet, you can pull it here. I thought, okay, maybe I can do it from this, but no, you need to go back because that middle thing is going to have a button for you to press. Going through the pipes, I kind of like it. In, in a couple sections, it was a little bit annoying. Oh yeah, towards the end, especially in that one section, that soul stuck thing, I think that's the only one, though. That in the game where you can go back to it and easily lose the robot man, so I had to reset. That was annoying. Yeah, so I could see there that... When I press that, that goes to the side, that yeah, releases that there, so. I was like, okay, now there's gonna be a way to manipulate the magnet. You can sort of do it with the switch. But when you press that, yeah, there's no way that you can get out of that. So that's my thought here. It took me a little while to figure out that I need to go back up through the pipe to move that magnet there you're gonna see something here soon to where i had the solution but for some reason the game didn't register it i don't know it was pretty dumb i'm not gonna lie it was pretty dumb 
gonna see here in a moment. Yeah, so this is where I got confused because I was wondering what the hell to do. And I was attempting to go all the way back. As you see there, that just drops. For some reason with the battery intact, that just stops functioning. Not sure why. <laughs> I guess with this thing being an operation that turns that off, no matter what, it's a little bit unfortunate. There are things in video games I understand they do to save up sort of the memory or whatever to keep the game functioning, in-game processing functioning, sort of either save space or to not crash the game altogether. It's a similar thing going on with Dreams, which is media molecule version of unity unreal give you an example see right there i pressed the thing underneath and the thing was supposed to go back and collapse there but for some freaking reason it never happened i'm not sure why i was able to press the button get out of the thing and nothing happened and the bag it is on too so I moved this over to the side, okay, thinking, okay, maybe I need to get something there, and then I move this back to the right, thinking that's going to open that, and I can get triggered there, but then when I did that, that no longer stayed on, and the magnet turned off. So I was wondering what the hell was going on, but, alright, let me go fast forward through this again. things to deal with this game is the, the couple of bugs and issues that I've got into that was one of them I don't understand why the, the cap never collapsed on me when I pressed the button I think that's a glitch because I did nothing wrong I, I literally did nothing wrong I don't know what I was supposed to do oh yeah and there's my I don't know my child or my, my love I can't really tell based on their size. I just know that they're a different color than me. And I'm going after them to save them. But now they're free from the janitor man, so... Hmm. I just realized, this has got to be the prequel. Because you're in here, and then you're in here again? Because he's alive. You fried him the last time. I just thought about it. Anyway. Appreciate the assist over there, little ma'am. Little ma'am. <laughs> little sis. I wonder if the, anyone if actually says little sis. Because I know I'm all love to say appreciate it, little bro. But I wonder if females do it to younger females. Or shorter females. Appreciate the love, little sis. Something like that. Yeah, now we get the little little bonding section, which I was looking forward to in this. I'm gonna spoil it. It's a little bit short-lived. Let me pull that up. So I'm gonna pull this up with it. Look at that. It's cute this I'll pull that is that green I wonder what happens if you pull the wrong things on purpose pull it reset anything I do wonder that I'm a little bit tempted to go back and play the extended story for that reason but no I'm gonna stick to it Part of this kind of pissed me off because I was waiting for them all up to do it. You gotta pull with the. Button. Actually, no, you gotta pull it first and then I'll pull it. And you can go try to speed run it and they go through the little animation. You pretend to be so freaking oblivious. <laughs> I don't get it. The case in point right here, look at this. All of it tries to go through the gra the grass, the glass. Instead of just pulling the freaking thing. And then we go over here. 
Now this, I had no, had no clue. Yeah. I have a feeling none of those switches work, but uh, look at our buddy, our poor buddy. There comes the janitor, shysty as ever. Picking them all lover up. Disposing the trash. Golly, you hate to see it. Look at that. Burnt to a crisp. Look at that. Desperate need of repair. Now we gotta carry them around. Try to go up here to see any secrets, but no. Nope. Hear the little murmur they make? That's depressing. Ugh. Yeah, Lee. So I don't know if it's my child or if it's my lover. We do love them. In some fashion. <laughs> some fashion. We'll say platonic. Platonic legal reasons. See, that opens up like that. Reminds me of the last level. How you needed things to open up, you needed a body to open up. It's similar to that. Yeah, yeah buddy gets crisp. That's why it's short lived, because his mom lover dies. And now we go all the way over here. How much further do we need to carry their corpse? A little depressing. Got this TV looks, looks familiar. We've seen that in part three. I want to say part three, where we discovered that little motherboard area. Turn the TV off. Now we just wander back over here. And stumble upon this. Now, at first, you need to toss this mother up through the pipe. Oh, well, that's the okay. case. Let's pull up the switch. And a ball presents itself. You make the ball interact with the light. Then out comes a ball with light. Nope. I'm just kidding. Just a regular ball. Yeah, I, I love how I was watching that go down that just fell on top of the robot. So I had to take my time and pull the cap off the robot. It's a little disrespectful on my part. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know how I let that slide. I got this ball over here. You can see, it was definitely difficult to tell whether there was a pipe there or not, because you can see it's, it's very, it's nearly transparent. It's, it's almost transparent. It, it's super translucent. That is certainly see-through. You look at this glass and the material behind it is some form of metal. So, some metal. I get it, but geez, it was very difficult to tell where the pipe was based on how it was. I think this is just a little poor design on their part, or a little too good, however you want to take it. I didn't quite get this because I didn't see that steel beam there. I don't know how long it, it took me. It took me a little, a little while. And even right there when I pulled the ball, I didn't even think about it. I just thought that was just part of the environment right there. That's where it should have just hit me on the head. There is the beam, but I'll realize the beam soon enough. Just give it a couple of more of these. <laughs> Yeah, that steel beam is going to be a part of the solution there. See, I was thinking at first, I had the right idea with this. I put the thing on the button, let that fall down, and then I wait for the ball to go. I think the ball already shot here. No, I did Yeah. I thought I was too late with it. I think, did I, did I realize it here? No, 
I try to go into it because I can't I can't freaking see where it is because it's not exactly clear or it just might not exist I think that's what the case was it might not exist yeah it was open that's what it was yeah it's transparent because there's no pipe there. that's why okay let me let me fast forward of this is you're gonna need that thing that blue thing at the bottom and this little caution thing right up here wedge it in between yeah, i ran into an issue of a ball being there and the annoyance of the mechanics in this game <laughs> like if you see it's quite a little, little difficile to do stuff so i think at first it's a little Actually, it's a little easier to have the robot off the button, wedge this in there, and then do it in between. But I thought you might enjoy this first. I'm right, gonna go back in a little more fast forwarding. turn into a ball where do those creatures come from this game is strange in its own ways i do like this little extended episode i do wish it was longer though it was it's for this to be a two-part i mean i could have i could have legitimately did this one video if i knew that it was gonna be short <laughs> Dead booty. I'm going back here. I'm gonna hit the switch this way again. I got this going on. This sounds familiar? Yep. These rocks were annoying as hell. I kept just going over here. They kept stopping me. Yeah. It's choice time, ladies and gentlemen. Actually, let me just not say too much. See, I got a chance. I got a way to repair it. Yeah. I'm gonna save him. Wait, what am I, am I doing? What? Wait, what? No? What? Huh? Pretty good. <laughs> no way. As I mentioned, there is a choice there. You can actually also choose to do another thing, which I'm going to show here shortly. But thank you guys for watching. Like this video and subscribe to become a trader today. Until next time, peace. <laughs>